So today we're going to create an wood screw in a really easy way and this is our end goal. So I have gotten a lot of questions how to create a wood screw and now I'm going to show the easiest way I know of. Okay, so I start up by going to edit, then we go into preferences and here we search for bolt uh, and we activate the bolt factor like that. Then we select the cube, delete the cube and then we press shift A and under mesh we now have the bolt. Go in here and we get a really really big bolt and we open up this menu down here and here we can now shows how we want our bolt to look but we want a wooden screw and we can solve that with this tool as well so let's just change the type to maybe a torx and then i want the head to be a countersink like that uh, and i also want to have some kind of sh shank length like that and i want the thread length to be longer and now i just need to change this so it look more like a wooden screw and I want the ma major diameter to be almost the same as, as the shank diameter so, because if I start to change this it starts to look kind of weird. So let's just set this to 3 again. The thing I want to change is the minor diameter so let's get this pretty wide like that but it's still too tight to be a wooden screw so we need to change the pitch so uh, maybe something like this and I want more threads like that still it look kind of weird but uh, what we want to do now is to change the crest present and I want this to be maybe 50 and then we take the root if you zoom in like this and take the root percent uh, it's how sharp the edge is going to be I used to set this to one or two something like that and then we have the, the div count and that's how many faces this screw should be built up of and it, you can set this to 16 I think it will look kind of okay anyway so great uh, so let's just click to accept the changes and uh, then we can select it and right click and choose out, uh, shade out the smooth something like that great uh, and if we want to change something about our bolt we can select it and right click and choose change bolt and I maybe don't want the torques anymore so you can just change this to Phillips and right now it look a bit weird and this is because the auto smooth but I also think it's too jagged so we need to change this as well so select it uh, change bolt and I want to raise this to 32 again yeah great that should do the trick okay so the only thing left for us now is to change this uh, point down here and it's not enough pointy so let's change that and this actually have gotten some kind of flat area so uh, and here is actually a bit tricky because if you change the major diameter too much you get an inverted screw like that and we don't we want it pointy like that great we select and we can just take those in the bottom let's just activate the x-ray mode and just take those then we actually press o to activate the proportional editing tool and now we can press scale and you see this ring all the pixels we will um, within the ring will be affected of this scale so we may be like this but as you can see we scale in all directions right now and we don't want that we only want to scale in x and y so let's press shift and z to exclude z from this scaling so now we just find what we think looks best stuff like that and we are done but a strange thing is that this screw is really really big uh, from the default so let's just scale it down maybe something like that press 
tab just to view it closer and then we can just give it some kind of material just to get the screw feeling metallic and kind of shiny yeah so this is the easiest way to create a wood screw i think thanks for watching if you like stuff like this please give it a like and subscribe thanks bye